Hi, it's Brad from WordPressSites.net. Today I'd just like to show you a five minute video how to uh, embed an image into a blog post or into your website page and also how to wrap the text around that image. It's pretty straightforward really. Um, I'm going to use a URL rather than upload the image from desktop or from a file. So just log into your, uh, your WordPress uh, dashboard and uh, We'll just have a look at uh, um, how to do this very simply. Um, I'll go to posts. Um, let's let's have a look at one of these drafts here. Okay, we'll just put a title in here. We'll call it uh, WordPress SEO because I've been doing a lot of work work on uh, WordPress SEO. Um, now we'll just put in a bit of text here. Uh, WordPress SEO is very simple when you use a um, great WordPress plugin. So I've just put a bit of text in there and, uh, and now I'll add an image. Um, I want to wrap the text around the image, so I'll, I'll just put my cursor here. I'll click on this little icon here which says add an image. Um, just wait for that to load. And uh, you can add the image from your computer, from your media library, from Next Generation Gallery. Uh, in this case I'm going to add it from a URL because it's not, uh, it's, it's not hosted on this server, it's on another server. So I just add the URL that's actually hosted on my other site keywordsforsearch.com which is my SEO site I'll just put a, uh, a title in here I'll call it WordPress SEO and uh, uh, the search engines don't read images but they do read alt text so it's always a good idea to put some alt text in there and uh, if I just leave this box here on none the, uh, the text won't be wrapped around the image so I, I, I'll click on left here, so I want the, uh, the text wrapped around the image which is on the left and I'll just insert that. So you can see what happens, I've just uh, inserted the image there and uh, I'll just open this up a bit, uh, how do I do that, just here. I'll just make this a bit easy to follow. So uh, you can put the image there and you can wrap the text coming down here or you can just click on the image there if you want to put the, the image over here just click on this little window here and uh, and click right you can see the image has moved over to the right hand side of the text or you can put it in the center like that or you can just have none so it's uh, the text will be below the image but we'll just put it on the right there just as, as an example uh, you can also add a, a caption below the image so I could put WordPress SEO, so I'll just put that so that'll be a caption there and I update that and you can see what happens is the images come right over to the right here and uh, the text will be wrapped around this area. So I might just put that back to the left, look a bit better, so I'll just click to the left there and I'll just click update and uh, and that's, that's put a window uh, around the image because I've put the caption in. You don't have to put the caption in, but uh, if you want a caption, it, it'll, it'll end up looking like this. So I'll just, uh, I'll just go back to the normal view there. I'll save the draft and we'll preview that. Now we'll just preview it and have a look at, to see what it looks like before we publish. So this is what it's come up like. Here's the image here with the caption in it there and I've got that bit of text there. It's created a couple of links automatically because I've got a plugin installed that uh, automatically links keywords. It's part of my SEO strategy. Here I've got this, this should be down here. I don't have enough text in there but I can add more text into the back end and bring all this down here which is very simple. So don't forget a couple of main points, don't forget to add a title, also some alt text so the search engines know what the image is and it should be relevant to, uh, to the topic of your post and you can add a caption as well. That's all from wordpresssites.net.